The Supreme Court is debating a Texas case that could determine if firearm accessories known as bump stocks violate federal law. The Trump administration banned bump stocks after the deadly mass shooting in Las Vegas, and there have been legal challenges since then. Fox 4 Stephen Dial listened to the Supreme Court arguments and also spoke to a North Texas gun store owner. Stephen. This ruling by the justices will come down to if a majority of them believe that the gun accessory makes a weapon an automatic rifle. Now, those who are in support of bump stocks told me today that they say there is a manual operation by the shooter and it is not automatic. When the recoil sets, it lets the firearm go forward and you end up pulling the trigger every time the firearm bounces off that receipt, I mean, off the, the accessory. David Prince, owner of Eagle Gun Range in Farmer's Branch, talked to us about the mechanics of bump stocks. That is at the heart of this debate, how the device actually works. Following the Vegas shooting in 2017, then-President Donald Trump got bump stocks removed from store shelves. Prince sold very few of the devices, but he's familiar enough with them to believe that they don't turn a rifle into an automatic weapon. Absolutely not. No, there's no way it does. To, to be a full auto machine gun, you need to buy ATF rules before this. You had to change the receiver and make it fully auto. That word automatic is important to the case, which originated with a bump stock manufacturer in Texas. It is not about the Second Amendment. Instead, it's about whether the ATF has the power to ban gun accessories like bump stocks. It enacted and strengthened these laws because it did not want members of the public or our nation's law enforcement officers to face the danger from weapons that let a shooter spray many bullets by making a single act. That's exactly what bump stocks do, as the Las Vegas shooting vividly illustrated. The federal government's stance is bump stocks allow the rapid firing of bullets, in their eyes, making it a machine gun. On the other side is Jonathan Mitchell, a former Texas solicitor. Mitchell was peppered with questions from both liberal and conservative justices. Through a bump stock, you can achieve the same kinds of result in terms of the amounts of bullets that are being uh, ejected. That is, is that true. Correct? It has okay. a very high rate of fire, but it's not automatic. The high rate of fire that's achievable through bump stocks is effectively the equivalent and we should take cognizance of that. Your thoughts? It's just not what the statute says. It has nothing to do with the rate of fire. But, but the and statute doesn't say a lot of things that you've agreed are prohibited under the statute. Prince thinks if the high court sides with the government, it could be a slippery slope for other gun accessories. ATF shouldn't be making laws. Just making a change like that, I'm not sure it was completely legal. Anytime you start down their infringement, path. You can always have other things. So it will be some time, multiple months, before we see what the justices say, before they give their ruling. If anyone still had a bump stock, they were told to destroy them, but some people are keeping theirs because they want to see how things will shake out before getting rid of something that they purchased.